All right, so Toshi messaged me and said, the next reveals and stuff you're going to be very excited about. Me, Rhyme, Rhyme, specifically me. And I'm like, what could you possibly drop in that's going to get me hype? Other than like, I don't know, a new hit, a Beerus. It's probably going to be Android 21. One reason why I think that is because it's uh, the anniversary just happened and they just randomly did that. Well, it's not really a random Zenkai Awakening. They can, uh, I believe they can only do like anniversary stuff for characters like 21 around the release of Dragon Ball Fighters. So if we're going to get a new Dragon Ball Fighters Android 21, it will be like now. Hey, I'll be excited. I'll be hyped. I'm going to lie. The big one that I'll be hyped about probably would be either Beerus or Hit. We're not going to get a new Beerus because it's way too soon. And Hit, Hit is overdue. And hit. Character appearing in each of the parts, and this was actually it would have to be an ultra. <laughs> and, and the reason why I, I, I stopped for a second is because we just got Gogeta, and there's no way it's going to be a ultra Gogeta or ultra hit. Sorry. So it's like if you drop a what all star banner hit, it's like oh cool thanks. He'll look super cool though, and I know I'm going to be hyped about it for like maybe like four months straight. But like if you want to have hit be dope, you got to give him an LF or an ultra. He was. Gogeta was dope. Gogeta has single-handedly severely brought me back to this game. I play this game every night for like an hour. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Gogeta was so dope that it made me grind Android 21 for free. The Zenkai. 17, I don't really care about. He's dope. But eh. And with its release, I didn't even summon him. This is the first banner that I didn't even summon off on camera. It's been a while since we've had a new tag, hasn't it? I almost asked what do you think is going to be the reveal, but obviously you're going to know by the time this video is out. So it certainly feels like it's been a long time. Everyone can be sure to look forward to new and interesting party comps with the addition of this new tag. The summon for Legends Limited and Universal Rep. Wait a minute. Still on. So if you haven't gotten this character yet, don't miss out your chance. I wonder if it has to do with the Universal sure Rep. To check it out. Now let's move on to the first announcement of the year. Dog, it's gonna be hit. I already know it's gonna be hit. Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour 2023 is coming. Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour has began two years. Two years ago, Battle Hour was amazing, but last year's Battle Hour was so dry. Not known about Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour, so could you tell us a bit more? Of course. The first one was amazing. I think I watched the entire thing, even though it was only like once one day. But last year it was just so. Mobile games. This event has been held online for the past two years, but. This year, I kind of want to go. I'm not even gonna lie, especially because this is in Vegas, which is like down the street. PSD in Las Vegas of all places. It's finally going to be held offline. So, what kind of events can we expect for Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour 2023? This year, Battle Hour will feature tournaments for the Dragon Ball Super card game, Dragon Ball Fighters. And I'm excited Legends. for the card game to come out Legends digitally. I'm going to play that on a channel a lot. I know me and C-Reacts are going to play. So there will be a tournament That's going to be our new version of Yu-Gi-Oh. We're just going to play that a lot on the channel. Mm -hmm. Get to the goods, man! Utilizing a new special rule set. Day one will be the qualifiers, and the top eight players from those will join the final tournament on day two, where the true champion will be decided. Remember, this isn't just any ordinary PvP either. We plan to use a new special pick rule during the tournament. Basically, one player will pick a character for their own party, but right after that, they will have to also pick one character for their opponent. Ooh, that's an interesting way to play. And then this process will repeat itself. That's kind of dope. Have a full team of six characters. So you're I should that steal that concept and do that for videos. Yo, Toshi coming up with the video ideas? Let's get it. That their opponent picked for them. Mm -hmm. That means there's no way you are going to end up with... What's it right now? If it ends up being ultra hit, which I'm confident it's not because they did ultras once every like three months, I will do a summon video and PvP within the same week. <laughs> Normally I do a PvP video way, way later. new special pick rule. Check out the special broadcast on the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour. I don't know if you haven't hit the thumbs up in this video yet. What are you doing? Actually trying out this new rule. Yeah, I made me wake up for this. Into the tournaments, there will also be plenty more to see at the event, including photo spots, places to try out games, and more. 
Although I did wake up a little bit later. It's 7 a.m. right now. 7.30. Of course, if you can't make it to Las Vegas, there will be live streams of the event again this year. So, you'll still be able to enjoy Battle Hour at home. What do you think about Battle Hour? Let me know. I, I think it's dope that they're doing this Dragon Ball thing every single year. What are they releasing? If they're dropping a free Kefla, what are they releasing? It's turn power related. And it's going to have me excited. It's going to have me excited. UI Goku? No, it's not going to be UI Goku. This is a whole new reason to get excited. For sure. Kefla will have excellent synergy with Pergamo, who received a Zenkai Awakening this month, as well as the newly released Android 18 and Android I'm skeptical 7. now. So, you'll definitely want to get your hands on this new Because if it's Beerus, I want a Hakai Beerus. That's what has me excited. Like an actual Hakai Beerus, not the one that we got. The one we got is dope. Don't get me wrong. Cover changes ...and who can unleash devastating blast starts during the early stages of a fight. This character also has an ability that buffs allies and reduces their substitution counts, making girls. Wait a minute, girls, 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 girls. It's going to be 21. It's going to be 21. Helping their allies quickly switch in and out. In particular, Toshi knows the way to my heart. With other tag Angel 21. And tag girl no, really, she'll punch a hole into my heart. Be able to get and I'll die. Power from this event as what a way to go out. <laughs> wow, I just got really dark. <laughs> this to be a battle bonus character in an upcoming raid, so. Be sure to limit break as much as you can. Now, on to the next news. Oh, they're, they're doing a so bunch of Kefla stuff. Kefla okay. Awakening. This character was supposed to be reckoned with... That Kefla was a demon when she came out. In mm -hmm. She was a the demon. With blast armor was really powerful at the time. Kefla was also often used as a sort of Are you going to announce uh, LF Kefla? Other characters. Is that what I'm going to be excited about? I mean, I like Kefla, but she's not like one of my favorite characters. Natural strength, such as giving the Toshi, if this ends up being Kefla, I'm going to be tight that you made me wake up for this. An increase to key recovery speed at battle start. Plus, the Zenkai ability will target characters who are both element green and tag universe rat. Remember to check in game for more details after the release of the character. As usual, there will also be a battle contract and awakening G power missions, so crazy event and clear the mission to get that awakening G power. And that's bringing us the uh, information. Just show me what you want to show me. Yes. Yes. Here is a surprise that I bet nobody expected. Check this out. Ultra, it's hit, it's hit, it's hit, dog. They're dropping it. They did it. They actually did it. They did it. They did the thing. They did the thing. I've been annoying them on Twitter for months about this. Okay, so it's a Shampa version, obviously. So it's not Universe Rep, which is weird. Well, he probably still has the same tag. Oh, that's sick. Did he stop time? He stopped time. Cause those were those were all, all strike cards. Bro, can just stop time? No, shut up. Show me the gameplay. Shut up. Show me the gameplay. Show me this gameplay. There's a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller in my pocket. I don't know how it got there. Show me. Did he freeze? He froze time. Did you see that? What is that, his green card? Because he does have the universe rep saga. Oh, I'm putting him with Beerus. Hit and Beerus. Hit and Beerus. Hit Beerus Jiren. That's what I'm playing. If you are paying close attention, you may have noticed that time skip wasn't just an animation. Yeah, no, he froze time. Dog, you know how tight I'm a beef? I'm about to rise and rush somebody and they just freeze time? Cool. Talk about <clears throat> that more in just a bit. Before that, let's watch some game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gameplay. Game Yo! This is coming out, what, in a few days? Oh, he's cool. He's so cool. He is the coolest character shown off in Dragon Ball Super. Free. 
It's not even a competition. If you disagree, you gotta tell me who's better. Who's a better character that, that Dragon Super gave to us other than, than Hit? Let me know down below. Uh, you also gotta hit the thumbs up for that because that was hype. Look at this. That's his entrance. That's probably a... Um, what's we'll call it? A knockback. Cover change. Okay, so no, that's his green card. That was definitely a green card. Is it a unique gauge? I think it is. Maybe when a unique gauge fills up, it just stops time. Yep. Look! Hey, you can just stop before you attack him. Is that a counter? What, how does it work? Bro, he's piecing him up. Nah, this has got to be broken. This has got to be broken. Stop wasting my time. No way. Let's talk about those abilities. Ultra hit is a okay, he's red. With an yeah, I can definitely run him with. Oh, you know what? Finishing off opponents. The ultra I could do Gogeta leader, tag ultra hit, characters. and Beerus. Ultra hit has a new type of unique gauge known as a time type that increases over time. If you use the special arts while the unique gauge is full, hit's signature type oh, okay. will activate, and any opponent hit by it will have their movements and actions restricted. Characters in this state will be unable to avoid attacks or cover change, allowing Hit to attack without any That fear sounds or crazy! Given the overwhelming power of this ability, the unique gauge will, of course, take a little while to charge first. Okay, I would assume. With this drawback, it's still a force to be reckoned with. As for the unique abilities, Hit will gain buffs. Oh, that's, that's the coolest character. Nah! No, 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 no. Shut up. This is the coolest character they released. Tremendously while fighting Activates 10 times. Critical ray goes up. Oh my god. He's literally yellow hit and purple hit put together. Because you're going to be like basically one-shotting people and getting criticals. This character also has some defensive abilities, including a reduction to damage received and a special cover change. Yeah, so that was a cover change. Strike or, strike or blast? Activate time skip, not just as a simple animation. Oh! <laughs> Hope you all get this character to try it out for yourselves. I hope I get him too. That's all we have for new characters today. But there's one last bit of info we have to share. Have a look at this. What else are you gonna show me? A new equipment is coming <laughs> that can be used by characters who are both tag universe reps. And they're and dropping a uh, platinum equipment too. This character is gonna be ridiculous. Ultra hit that we just announced. It will be available from hyperdimensional co-op. So Guess I'm playing co-op. Play the event to get it. You can learn more about the effects of this equipment by checking out the in-game notice after its release. That's bring us to the end of the first reviews and staff for 2023. Yes, it does. We would like to thank you all again so much. Is there anything else? Dragon Ball There's gotta be nothing else here. 2023 will be the fifth anniversary of Dragon Ball. Legends. That's nuts. And we're all working incredibly hard to make sure that it's a year. Everybody no, 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 no. You guys gotta, you gotta th hit the thumbs up on this video to at least 10,000. That was insane. That we have in store. Thank you all for watching. To the okay, that's it. I'll see you guys in a couple of days with with this release. Cause, good lord. I bet you even Dion will be excited about this.